Well, what's going on, geeks and gamers? Kevin Alex here, and you're watching Nintendo DIY, the brand new show in which I teach you how to make your very own super cool Nintendo themed projects right at home. In part one, we designed the Amiibo card, and today we're printing, cutting, and assembling our very own Amiibo cards from start to finish. I'm going to show you everything you need and everything you need to do in order to make your own Amiibo card. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's go! Alright guys, so like with any tutorial, before we can make what we need to make, we need to have the materials to make it. So we're going to go through those right now. So the first thing we're going to need is some premium inkjet photo sticker paper. Now if you have a laser printer, make sure you get the uh, photo sticker paper for laser printing. I do have an inkjet, so this is what we are going to use. Next thing you're going to need is some standard white cardstock. Now this is totally at your discretion, um, the thickness that you want. I just got a pretty thin thin one. I'm not even sure what thickness this is, um, but this is totally your discretion. Go to the store, find uh, one that you think is uh, the proper thickness for a playing card, and just get that one. Next thing you're gonna need is a paper cutter to cut your designs out of the large eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper that they're gonna be printed on. Um, I use a paper cutter. You can, of course, use scissors if you want to, um, but this is gonna give us a little bit of a straighter, more professional cut than scissors would. Once we have our cards cut out, we are going to need some glue sticks to cut uh, to make those cards stick together. Uh, make sure when you're going for a glue stick, you get a permanent bond glue stick and not a re repositionable type of glue stick uh, because those will come apart after a while. So you want to make sure you get a permanent bond glue stick. Then we're going to need this really cool, really handy tool. Um, it costs about five bucks at Michael's. It is a corner cutter. For paper so basically what you do is you take a square corner on paper you stick it into this little handy machine and it will turn that square corner into a one-fourth of an inch rounded corner so that is gonna make it look like a professional cut corner card now of course we cannot make an amiibo card if we don't have an amiibo so for this tutorial we are using Super Mario version of Luigi since we are making Super Mario cards but we can't just stick an entire card into or an entire an amiibo, sorry, into a card unless we extract the brains of the amiibo, which is the NFC chip inside the base. So we're going to need a pocket knife or a butter knife to do that. And last but not least, this is completely optional, but I am going to be using a plastic card protector in order to bond the two halves of my cards together um, and just give it a little extra pressure until it the glue has dried. So that is everything you're going to need for this tutorial. All the links, of course, are going to be in the description below so you can find them for yourself. But without further ado, let's get creating. All right, so as you can see, we have our Luigi's design printed out now. And of course, this again is our sticker paper. We print our Luigi's design on our sticker paper. And from there, what we want to do is attach it to a piece of cardstock. Now, this again is going to give it the rigidity and the thickness that we need for it to feel like a real playing card. Um, so let's take our piece of cardstock and we're just going to take our photo paper and find a corner to peel back. All right. So there we have it. Top layer now of the photo paper. This part is sticky on the back and we can get rid of the other layer. Now we're just going to very slowly and carefully apply this to our cardstock. There we go, that should be good enough. And we'll just roll it down slowly so that we don't get any bubbles in that right there. All right, so once it's all smoothed out and flat, we're going to go ahead and grab our paper cutter and trim our card out. Make sure you line up the lines on the paper cutter with the bottom of the card. And we'll do this, of course, for all four sides. All right, so there we have it, our two halves of our brand new Amiibo card. Now the next thing we have to do, of course, is get our Amiibo chip. So we'll get our Luigi figure out of his box. And 
we will grab our pocket knife. Now, when extracting a chip from the amiibo, you want to go ahead and take your uh, butter knife or your pocket knife and wedge it in between the base um, and the platform that the character stands on and just apply a little bit of pressure. And just like that, there is our NFC amiibo chip. Now just take the knife and very slowly just peel back the chip. Um, if it has a lot of glue on it, make sure you go very carefully because you can rip and damage the chip if you are not careful. So there we have our amiibo chip. We'll just place that to the side and get rid of Luigi. Now the amiibo chip is going to very simply go on to our amiibo card. Now we have our amiibo logo that of course signifies where the amiibo is inside the card. So we'll take our amiibo chip. It already has adhesive from being stuck inside the figure. Um, and we will turn our card around and just place it precisely just about where our amiibo logo is and that looks about right right there so now that we have our two halves of the amiibo card let's go ahead and put our knife away and get out our glue sticks all right so we have our glue stick out and our cards are ready to be glued so let's go ahead and flip these over and we're going to take the front of the card now and we're going to apply our glue all over the front of the card. So you want to make sure you go corner to corner. Do not miss any spots. The more glue, the better to ensure that your card is going to stick together for years to come. Um, so yeah, make sure you go edge to edge. I am using a purple glue stick so that I can see where the glue is going. And of course, you guys can see as well. Once you have that done, go ahead and take your glue stick. Make sure you line up the proper edges of the card so I'm gonna line it up just like that and we are going to place it down and just rub out any excess glue that might be in there all right there we go now our card is together um, just very shortly we're going to go ahead and put this in our um, card case to make sure that it does not get ruined while it is drying or come apart while it is drying but before we do that we want to make our final step and take our corner cutter right so we're going to go ahead and take the card stick it right into our corner cutter line it up very precisely and of course cut the corner we'll do that with all four corners And now the corners on our card are rounded. So just like that, we have our very own custom Amiibo card. All right, guys, so there you have it. There is our custom Luigi Amiibo card complete. Uh, look how good this thing looks. This looks pretty official, if you ask me. Uh, on the back side, I got a little bit of glue here. Uh, so just be careful. Take your time when you're doing it. Don't get any glue on the back because that did ruin it a little, little bit. Um, so I'll have to go back and redo this card, but overall, this is just pretty good looking amiibo card, if I may say so myself. Um, I did bring out an Isabel uh, Animal Crossing amiibo card here, just so you guys can see side by side what they look like. And if we stack them on top of each other, they're almost the exact same size. The corners are slightly larger on the Isabel one, um, but other than that, look how close they are in size. And I'd say if you put these in an album together, they would look pretty dang good together. And the last thing we want to do is I've got Smash Brothers here, so we're just going to test the amiibo functionality to make sure that it actually does scan in. So here we go. And look at that. I don't know if you can see that on the screen, but it did scan in as Luigi. All right, guys, there you have it. That's it for this week's episode of Nintendo DIY. You now have the skills and the knowledge to make your very own Amiibo cards right at home. If you like this tutorial, go ahead and click that subscribe button to see all my future tutorials coming up, as well as a ton of other video game related content. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.
This video is intended for entertainment and informational purposes only. Viewers should not use the information contained in this video to engage in illegal activities such as the creation and sale of amiibo cards. Nintendo is the proper copyright holder for all of its characters and icons.